What is the major product of the following reaction? The negatively charged oxygen compound, tertiary butoxide, is the electron donor and is either a nucleophile or base. The alkyl halide is the electrophile or electron acceptor. The electrophilic carbon is tertiary and is sterically hindered. The substrate could potentially undergo E2 or SN1E1 reactions depending on the reaction conditions. The electron donor, T-butoxide, is a bulky sterically hindered strong base that is a very poor nucleophile. The solvent is tertiary butanol. The solvent is protic, which promotes the formation of a carbocation. However, the formation of a carbocation is not likely since a strong base is present and a fast exothermic E2 reaction will dominate over a slow endothermic SN1E1 reaction. Looking at the substitution elimination chart for alkyl halides, we see that T-butoxide is a poor nucleophile and a bulky sterically hindered strong base that is attacking a sterically hindered tertiary alkyl halide. An E2 reaction will occur. The dominant reaction will be an E2 reaction because the bulky base is sterically hindered from reaching the electrophilic carbon. The SN2 product will not form in this reaction. The E2 reaction can occur at the secondary beta carbon to produce 2-methylbut-2-ene or at the primary beta carbon to produce 2-methylbut-1-ene. Looking at the reaction coordinate potential energy diagram, we see that there is greater steric interaction between the base and the substrate in this transition state when the bulky base is abstracting a secondary proton compared with abstracting a primary proton. The energy of the transition state that produces the more thermodynamically stable alkene is greater than the transition state that produces the less stable alkene. A larger activation energy decreases the rate of reaction and causes the more stable alkene to become a minor product. Thus the major product of this reaction is the less stable alkene 2-methylbut-1-ene, or the Hoffman product.